Hello everyone, this is Ewan from ReeksMC and I am doing a video on the VODs, uh, Vault <laughs> Mod Pack Explosions. So all the explosions inside the Mod Pack, apart from the grenades and missiles, um, that is a big, a big miss out, I admit, but it, I'm just seeing how this this video does. So, go, getting on to it, this is the condensed explosive. Once you place down the torch, it explodes immediately, so you're, you're gonna get some damage done to you as well, unless you have a big chain of redstone. So, as you saw there, it does uh, quite a bit of damage, just maybe a normal TNT size amount of damage to the environment. Now this one, this is the shrapnel explosive, this sends out lots of red hot fiery arrow things which of course are shrapnel. Now this one, this is the incendiary explosive um, and as you can see just in a sec it sends out a big area which starts getting on flame, uh, which like you know sets alight and in a tree biome that is very very dangerous but going on to the next one I have to be quick here because there's so many but um, that is the chemical explosive as you can see it does damage to the animals and humans or Minecraftians or whatever you want to call them and it does weakness virus nausea and some other one probably hunger as well but I can't quite see because of the save things and I'm a noob if you can get rid of them well there you go this is the anvil explosion um, or explosive and it of course in the name it says it fires out a load of anvils which can damage the humans if it lands on them this one I didn't see what this one was sorry about oh this is the repulsive explosive so it of course repels you away just like a magnet um, so it pushes you away quite far um, this next one is the attractive opposite of repulsive so it will pull you towards it and this can be very useful if you want to get mobs in one place it does do damage to the environment though so that is a thing to take into account this next one is the fragmentation grenade it's uh, or explosive it's just like the shrapnel one but the bits of shrapnel or fragments actually do damage to the environment as well therefore making it more dangerous so going on to the next one this is the famous EMP which loads of people would know from you know Call of Duty those sort of games and they will that will of course take down um, any electronics um, and as you can see there the radius which it covers it um, is shown by smoke coming from the ground so anything uh, electronic in that will of course go down and break or something like that so the next one this is the nuke everybody loves a nuke good old nuclear explosive mushroom cloud and you'll be surprised the vaults pack actually includes the mushroom cloud and that's what I like about this mod pack it sends out a big smoke ring and then comes back as you can see and when they all hit the middle a big mushroom cloud appears now that's not the only thing that happens though so that's what's so good about this mod pack as you can see round the radius of the explosion there's green stuff now you might be wondering what that is well that is the fallout zone so I don't know whether it does damage to the uh, to the Minecraftian or anything like that but it changes blocks even underneath the top layer into this weird new block with the green stuff this is the thermo uh, thermobaric explosion or explosive and this is very similar to the nuke as you can see the smoke cloud goes out but it's not quite as much as damaging to the environment as the nuke so it's still got that nice effect but that's ba basically the baby nuke of this mod pack uh, mod pack sorry um, so this next one is the rejuvenation explosive as you can see on the side it has a leaf so that will probably mean 
it will create stuff. So as you'll be about to see here, it creates the land. Um, but not only that, it actually creates it to the same level that I found out. This next one is the, I think, breaching one, uh, the breaching explosive. Yep, breaching explosive, just said then. So what happens, it only, it has a very short fuse, about half a, half a second, and it explodes about twice as big as a, a TNT, normal TNT explosion, or maybe three times, that's just a rough, rough estimate. So this next one is the Sonic Explosive. Now, in-game it actually makes a horrible sound, I think, personally, but it sends up a small radius of blocks up into the air and if that lands on the player it will kill them um, it also it also sends it out into surrounding areas but not that much now as <laughs> you you might see on the on the map um, that it is quite big but it's not compared to another one this one is the ah uh, forgotten what this one is sorry about that it would have said on the screen but this creates virus, weakness, hunger, all that sort of stuff, blindness as well, so it's just like the chemical one. Oh, this is the um, the one where you can catch it, I, I don't know what it's called, I forgot, I'm really sorry about that. Um, contagious, that's what it is. This one, this next one is the exothermic, now this is a very nice feature to the mob. Uh, mod pack which I haven't seen done in any other like more explosions or more TNT mods and it sends up a big ray of light and in a second you'll see that it actually changes day to night and sends out one of the biggest radiuses in this whole explosive section of the mod and it sets it all alight. So as you can see there on the mini map as well, that whole place is lit up. So it's good for it's it's a really nice like addition to the mod pack. This one is the anti gravitational explosive and by the name it will of course sorry a bit of lag there, it will send up a load of blocks. But this is the cool bit, this is a very fun explosive, and I take off my flight and I start bouncing with the sand. Now, this is good because if you go out the radius, it's just normal gravity. If you go in, it's just like if you've ever played Halo before, it's just like a gravity lift. Um, so there you go, that is the anti-gravitational explosive. This next one coming up is the, uh, wait, wait for it, <laughs> um, this, oh, I did miss one out here, um, by the way, just because it didn't work, so this one is the hydro something or other, hydro explosive, I will put a little annotation on the screen saying what it was, um, and this one is just like the sonic, um, the Sonic one, um, and it actually sends up a massive radius and fires the blocks out. This one is the redstone or red matter, um, not redstone, red matter one, and it's just like a quarry. It takes layer by layer in a circ in a sphere spherical um, area, so, and it. It does remind me of the Ender Dragon dying because it sends out a load of light and yeah, that keeps on going for what I know forever. But anyway, next one is the anti anti matter um, bomb, and this is the best one by far. I mean, just look at the map. It has a very long fuse, and if you look at the map, it will show how big. The radius is it's absolutely massive and the hole it makes is <laughs> just stupid I mean ten times more powerful than the nuke and it, it, it's just great it's like a meteor has hit the ground and made a massive crater anyway and this, this final one is the ender ender explosive now there's two uh, two things that can happen with this if you manage to stay away from where the bomb blew up and 
in this sort of pink dust dome, a load of Endermen get pulled through and into your world. So this next option is where you get pulled in and you go into the Ender. So that's the video. Um, so thanks for watching. If you like, uh, please subscribe, rate, like. Uh, I've said like before, but like again and subscribe and yeah, all that. So thanks for watching. See ya.